to find that it could have been worse. But the Lord stepped in and shielded me. Paul says in Corinthians that the enemy would have swallowed me up. But thanks be to God. Anybody thankful that God stepped in? Would you testify to somebody and tell the Lord did it for me? I don't care who he used to do it, he did it. Tell somebody he did it. it might, you might have been the one, but he used you to do it for me. Tell him, for you did it for me. And God spoke to you. Let me go for a minute. Well, for a few minutes. To the book of Philippians. Philippians is known as the jury letter. I know how in the world, how in the world can somebody who is in prison write a jury letter? You know, for those of you, if you ever were incarcerated, you would not be writing a jury I want to confess. I don't, I don't know what kind of letter you write. I already told the church years ago, I thank God for Elder Marie Brooks and her staff. Stand up, Elder Marie. Stand up. Turn around. Face the people. That's my prison ministry leader. I pray for her every day because I ain't going. She's my intercessor for prison ministry. I pray that God gives us strength and long life. Because I can't see me hearing the bars close behind me. Once was enough. I ain't going back. You don't need to know what happens. But the Lord delivered us. Maybe you've never been incarcerated. Maybe you've never been in a prison. It don't have to be a cell, but you could have been locked up in your own emotions. You could have been prison by sickness. You could have been in prison by despair. You could have been in prison by, come on, by depression. But the Lord delivered you. He brought you out of it. He brought you up and out of it. is in prison and he writes this letter to the church at Philippi. The concept of joy or rejoicing in these four chapters is mentioned 16 times. That's why I'm trying to figure Paul out. What drove him to try to now encourage a whole city. He tells them in chapter one, for I am persuaded that he that had begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of his coming. Well, that would have been enough. But he goes on to declare to them, wait a minute. I need for you to understand and to know that it's him who causes us, it's God in us, who causes us to, on, his, to do his will and to perform his work that will be to his good pleasure. 
So it is not of our own accord. It is him working in us. Now, if you know God is working on you, I ain't talking about the fact that you arrived at a place of perfection. But you just know that God is working on me. Would you just reach over and testify to about four or five folk, squeeze the hand and tell him you, 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 you're feeling the hand of somebody that God is working on. 